Hey Anthony, what stood out to you the most as you opened the preseason here with the Lakers? Um, you know, we were coming out great defensively. Um, I think we did a good job offensively. You know, we gotta get better at some things on both ends of the floor. But I think the way we played, we came out um, kind of just set a tone um, to get us going. We've seen you spend a lot of time talking to LeBron. I know that's been, you know, constant communication since you joined the team. How did that pairing work for you? What are the things that stand out about how it plays with LeBron out there? Uh, we're just trying to figure it out. Even when we off the floor, uh, watching film. No, excuse me. Um, you know, even when we on the floor, we're talking. Or if he's on the floor and I'm on the bench, and vice versa. You know, we just try to help each other out. Um, you know, and the more we can do that, the easier the game is going to be for us and f for our teammates. So anytime, anytime we got an opportunity to, to learn, um, it's always good for us. LeBron was saying he felt some pregame jitters and uh, from the long layoff. And uh, were you feeling that from either your layoff or, or from just debuting as a Laker? Um, no, nah, I was just ready to get back on the floor again. Um, you know, I haven't played in, in a while, so I was just happy to get back on the floor and just just play basketball. That stretch in the first quarter, you had three dunks in a row. Um, what was working for you uh, to kind of have that little flourish there? I was just trying to, you know, attack the offensive glass, you know, just try to, you know, be aggressive and get myself going. Like I said, I haven't played in a while, so I was just trying to do all the little things and the ball just ended up in my hands. So I just try to go up and dunk it and just kind of get myself going. The pocket pass you got from LeBron, I mean, is that something you guys have a chance to work on? The pocket pass from LeBron? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's tough to cover. You know, you got a guy like him going downhill. Um, and, you know, a guy like me who's rolling, you know, who's a lob threat, um, you got to pick your poison. You know, he's getting to a strong hand. Um, he's in the paint, and then you got me rolling behind. So um, either he's going to go finish, you know, pocket pass or a lob. So uh, especially when it's a clear start, you know, it's, it's just a tough way to go. Anthony, this was your first game with the Lakers. Was there any point, you know, where you had like that little boy smile where you sort of let it all absorb and say, this, I'm with the Lakers now, you're playing with the Lakers, you're in that uniform. Was there any moment like that? Uh, no, not really. Um, kind of got that out the way, you know, for their training camp. You know, um, you know when I step on the floor, uh, I want to win. So, like I say, it was it was fun to just get back on the floor. Um, obviously, it's always fun to, you know, put a, a uniform on, um, and especially for a, a franchise like this. But uh, for me, it was mostly just getting on the floor and just playing basketball again. Anthony, with preseason games, you kind of can get whatever uh, varying degree of quality or intensity. Um, but it seems like you guys came out very intense and very focused. With this being a new group and obviously kind of the way last season went for this team, was it important for you guys to set a tone for what kind of team this is going to be? Yeah, we, we want to set a tone for ourselves. Um, coming out, playing great defensively, moving the ball offensively, getting great shots. So, um, you know, even though these preseason games, we, you know, the minutes is not going to be the same as regular season, but we want to come out um, and portray the, the type of team that we're going to be, um, you know, in the amount of minutes that we have. So anytime we get on the floor for these next, you know, five games in preseason, we want to make sure that, um, we come out and do the things that we need to do to help us. There are so many new pieces here, but they fit so seamlessly in that first half. Did that come in camp or that mini camp in Las Vegas? What was the key there? Um, both, you know, training camp and the camp in Vegas, you know, just working on stuff and working on our game, working on our chemistry. And, um, you know, it was about time that we, you know, played against someone else than ourselves and um, put it to the test. And, you know, we, re we really look good. Um, especially in that first half, so um, you got to build off of it. What What are the areas that come to mind as areas that you really want to tighten up before the season gets here? Um, transition defense. We we let uh, let some guys get loose in transition, um, especially with these guys. Um, you know, like to get out and run. Um, some things defensively with the bigs. You know, uh, and pick and roll. So uh, those are two things that, that stand out to me the most. And then offensively, you know, just you know the turnovers. You know, we had a couple unforced turnover, turnovers that um, we didn't need to have. So we want to limit our turnovers as much as possible and get a shot at the rim every time down the floor. But I think defensively, those two main keys are what we need to focus on more. Anthony, your talent LeBron speaks for itself. Like, how do you determine on each possession, like, hey, now's the time to kind of have a two-man game? And all that? Uh, play calling. Um, you know, LeBron and, and, and Doe, AC, all those guys, all our point guards are going to call the plays. And um, it's up to them to read the situations. And, you know, whatever situation we're in, uh, no matter who it is, you know, we try to take the take advantage of it. So um, that one time was just, you know, LeBron in the corner. Um, and I think Rondo called that 
a play call to go pin down for him, and you know we got something good out of it. So, um, you no, know, it, it's only going to work when everyone's aggressive, you know. And uh, I think we showed that tonight. But like I said, we got some stuff to clean up, but it looked real good. Katie, Last guys, two questions, please. You guys knew what a great home court advantage Oracle was. This is the first game here. What, what impressions do you make of this new building so far? No, uh, it's nice. This is an outstanding building. Um, obviously, their first time playing it in here as well. So. Um, you know, they're going to be a good team. You know, Steph, if Clay comes back, I'm not sure if he's coming back this year, but um, Draymond, uh, when Willie gets healthy. So they're going to have a, they're gonna have a great team. And um, obviously we know it's tough to, to play in Oracle because they're fans, and their fans are still behind them. So, you know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, you know environment where you know, it's going to be very loud.